guys, so I'm actually recording this on my old iPod, which has kind of become my, um, like, like, media player, kind of. I just use it for airplay and stuff. So, uh, the following video will be a reaction to, uh, as soon as it focuses there, maybe, probably not, there we go, the latest iOS update iOS 9. So this will be a complete review and kind of like first look reaction because I wasn't in the beta program. So I do hope that you guys enjoy it. I'm going to be updating both my iPod and my iPhone, so I'm not sure how well this will go. I may actually switch to my webcam. So we'll see how it goes. So I want to thank you. Hey guys, so this is going to be a little interesting, I'm not sure how well this video will actually turn out. So, uh, I'm going to log into my iPhone really fast, just enter in my passcode. Alright, so <laughs> the first thing that we see is, and it's going to be white on there, there we go. You see an update completed screen, so we're gonna go ahead and tap that. Services, and we have to log in. Ooh, I actually like. I like the new keyboard. <laughs> How it um, capitalizes and lowercases everything. So it's updating the iCloud settings now. Oh man. And what's so cool is I can actually see the uh, IR light there, or whatever it is. I'm not actually sure what that one is there. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, let me get that into the camera. Welcome to iPhone. Get started. Oh man. Oh man. Oh. Okay, I love this! I love the whole slide, uh, slide to get to spotlight. That is so much cooler than having to... <gasps> and, uh, oh man, okay, that's cool. Siri now has suggestions. Okay, now there was, um... There was something that was said where you can just say, Okay, Siri. Or was it, Hey, Siri? Aw, oh, man, do I have to enable it? Okay, supposedly you're able to say, Okay, Siri, or Hey, Siri. Oh man, and they can... <gasps> you can search inside of uh, the, the different windows. That's so cool. Like... You can actually search through the settings. Oh, and everything looks so much better. <gasps> you finally! Okay, in iOS 6, I actually started in like iOS 4, um, but they ended it in iOS 7. No, uh, yeah, it was iOS 7 that they stopped doing this. Now, the battery, the battery percentage is Finally back, so I'm actually gonna try my hardest to turn that on. <gasps> and up in the corner, you can now see it at 82%. Man, this is ah, oh, this this is so cool, so cool. Um, all the icons actually look better. Like my girlfriend and I were talking about how the icons look so childish, but now they actually look cleaner than they did so i'm actually quite happy about that the new news app that everyone is raving about uh i i personally don't really see anything that impressive like it's just you can pick the different favorites that you have and you can view the different stuff captain sparkle is just uploaded a video <gasps> oh sh i forgot about the the new the new uh home like how to view all the icon like all of your apps i forgot about that this is so cool they added like no they didn't add okay 
Well, that kind of sucks that they didn't add like a three finger swipe up so that, oh, apparently they have a, okay, so that, that's it. Oh, I don't like that actually. Okay, Apple fix this because you can still swipe down from the center to get to spotlight. And I don't like that. I want to be able to just swipe to the side. Oh man, I don't like that because that gives me too many options. And I know that's probably, that sounds really stupid, but it does, it just like, I want one option to go to spotlight. It's just like an Apple uh, in the Mac OS X. I want just one option. I don't want to have to, you know, go through 10 different steps and have 10 different options for it. But some people may like it. There may actually be a way to disable it. But the thing that I'm really interested in, minus, you know, the whole wave effect, I'm going to call it, just the different wave options that you have, um, is Sassy Siri. So let me see if I can turn on the OK Siri thing. Is it general? Yeah, general. Siri. I hate Siri. <gasps> oh, now they have... Okay, when you're starting up Hey Siri, they actually... It lets you um, set it up. So we're going to go ahead and set it up. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, it's me. Okay, let's see if it works. Hey Siri. Ah, darn. So you still have to be connected to power. Um, it may be a new feature in the 6S and 6 Plus. So I am now now connected to power, and that I'm. You can see up in the corner how it's green now. I, I the video quality when I zoom in sucks. So um, let's go ahead. Hey Siri. How's the weather today? Today, the temperature will range from 13 degrees to 29 degrees. Awesome. Okay, so didn't get sassy Siri that time, and it took a little bit longer, but I'm pretty sure that's because I'm running the iPhone 5 instead of like a 5S or 5C. No. The 5C probably would run the same speed because, I mean, it's the same uh, processor and stuff. So, this is awesome. So, okay, I, I want to do what they did at the, uh, the Apple event. Hey Siri, what's it like to be you? It actually works, and she really is sassy. So, um, now, they just had Stephen Colbert, uh, they just had Tim Cook on Stephen Colbert last night, and that kind of dates the recording if uh, you're watching this in the near or future future. Um, so, let's go ahead and ask, what's it, lo um, let's ask, hmm, questions to ask Tim Cook. Siri, what should I ask Tim Cook? Forget Tim. Why didn't you ask Scarlett Johansson what it was like pretending to be? There we go. Proof that she is sassy Siri. Um, I actually don't get the, uh, the reference, but if you guys get it, tell me in the comments below. Um, so yeah, this has been the react to... Um, iOS 9 update. I'm really happy that they brought back the percentages because that was a big thing. I actually had to download a third party app called Battery. Um, kind of, there we go. And it would actually tell me, you know, the time and everything, but it's not really useful. So, can I actually, oh, I can actually swipe up three apps at once. Okay, okay, 
Okay. I'm just gonna close. Oh, that didn't work actually. Okay. Three apps. Close. Done. Done, son. All right. So I am really happy with nine. Um, I hope that you guys like iOS nine. I would actually recommend it at this point. Just Apple, please fix the whole swipe down to uh, to open up um, spot spotlight if you can. Because I mean, I'm perfectly happy with the old-fashioned swipe to get spotlight thing. Um, that was actually something that I really wanted back, and I even wrote them a letter and suggested it to them. So yeah. So this has been my first look and first dive into iOS nine. So. Thank you all for watching. I know I promised only two videos a week, but hey, this is iOS 9, people. This is iOS 9. Okay. Hey, guys. So, I actually just got my iPod finished updating. And the whole thing about me arguing, saying, hey, this, the whole crappiness of the, um, the spotlight, well, it actually is not on the iPod. The iPod Touch uh, fifth generation, no, yeah, this is the fifth generation, does not allow the swiping to spotlight. It only allows sliding down to spotlight. So, I mean, as far as I know, all the other features still work. Siri is really laggy on this, and I believe that that's probably because of the slower processor in this. Um, but I'm actually, now that I have an apples to apples kind of comparison, I'm gonna make a video in the near future about how, uh, how insufficient this is, unless like you're doing very minimal stuff like what I'm doing with it. Like as you can see in the dock, these, four apps are pretty much all I use. Um, the settings for my VPN, the the uh, the Safari for browsing and anime watching, and Docs and Drive so that I can do my teleprompter on my, on my Apple TV. So yeah, this was just kind of a quick pop-in, mm, pop-in, um, video for you guys. Um, so I'm gonna thank you all. Hey guys, so thank you all for watching that uh, first time react video for the iOS 9. Um, I did put a little bit of work into it, so if you guys liked it, be sure to hit that like button and share it with all your friends. Um, if you can, subscribing also helps out the channel and keeps you up to date with all of the latest videos and stuff. So, um, yeah. I want to thank you all for watching. If you liked it, you obviously know what to do. If you don't like it, you know what to do. So, again, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all next time.